Hi, thank you for clicking play. In this video we're going to be building the Tuxedo HD TV antenna. As you can see it looks like a kind of a spin-off from the Gray Hoverman antenna. I designed this antenna this way for two reasons. One, to shorten it up so that it would fit in my attic. And two, to add fractals to help battle against interference. Here are the materials. Here I'm showing a 1x2 piece of PVC material and I understand that this is not available everywhere, but PVC does work better than wood, but that's your choice. And then I have two pieces of 12 gauge wire cut at 56 inches each. And you can use 10 gauge wire, that works very well. And if you use 8 gauge wire, if you have the muscles for making the bends, that's up to you. I have here also uh, some number 8 washers some number 10 3 quarter inch metal screws. The block of wood that you see here is for the mounting pivot. And here's a close up of my screws. Here are the tools. What I don't have listed here is sandpaper and I'll use that later. Here's the diagram. Feel free to take a screenshot. Let's get our screws and washers installed. 7 and 3 quarter inches apart with a one and a quarter inch separation. A sharpie works good for marking the center of each element. Working out from the center, use your sharpie to mark the elements. These measurements are relative to their distance apart from each other. Here's the diagram again for reference. When making the bends, hold the needle nose pliers just to the side of the mark to ensure the mark is in the center of the bend. Twisting these long wires can be a little awkward. You need a lot of room to move around. It can be confusing as well, and if you bend one the wrong way, don't worry. Just simply twist the wire around rather than trying to bend it back the other way. And when you're done, it should look like this. And don't worry about straightening it out too much. It's easier to straighten out once it gets secured to the base. Remember that sandpaper I was talking about? We'll need to use it here to sand down the contact points where the matching transformer attaches. And here it is in its finished form. And for as well as it works, I'm very proud of it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe even share it. Oh, and by the way, if you're in real tight quarters and you need something really small, check out the Mini Tux. And despite its size, it's surprising how well it works. This will be my next video, so please be sure to subscribe so you won't miss it. Thanks for watching.